In the last episode, I rolled my first chunks after almost two years. I got the whole Sidious chunk with this list of goals to complete. In this episode, I want to complete a few of the goals on this list, and I will get a lot of wood cutting XP. I mean, a lot. Enjoy. We are back with the magic grind as level 78 magic. And I can now use a trident of the swamp. Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. Level 79 magic for Entangle. Beautiful. I just got my first magic seed. I opened some bird nest from woodcutting. And yeah, that's the first magic seed in the bank now. Still after that spirit seed. There's a clean level 80 magic. I can now use stun. And I can wear some more cool items. 82 woodcutting. I've been spending quite a bit of time at Willows. Because it is the fastest XP per hour for me. 95 fletching is a long way away. Ooh, I just got 63 fletching. And I can make ruby tipped adamant bolts. I do actually have adamant bolts in a bank, so I can make those bolts in the future, and quite a lot actually. I've had a lot of questions about forestry lately, and I am able to get bark on this account. I can do events if people help me with woodcutting. I can't however use the bark or buy any of the rewards, because the forester isn't in my area. So I've been collecting some leaves, I am collecting uh, bark in case I need it. And I might bank enough bark so I can buy all the rewards when I unlock the shop in the future. Since I am probably going to get 99 woodcutting anyways, doing fletching. So I might as well prepare that. I think Draenor is probably the closest spot. A bunch of people are boosting my XP per hour right now. It does actually make a little bit of a difference with 10 people at the yew trees with me. And not counting the time it takes to fletch the locks, it's almost as fast as willow locks. And the nice thing about yew trees is I will be banking all of the uh, longbows. So I think a decent bit of the fletching grind will be done with yew locks. If people are helping me out or I'm editing, it's really chill to AFK yew locks. And yeah, it's actually pretty good. I just discovered I can use cooked meat from cows and use it on the leaves from forestry. And I get something called Forester's Ration. And I can use this while woodcutting and it restores my run energy. So that could be useful for some future grinds. I think it's also fairly useful for low level Ironman to restore run energy. Just bring this while chopping locks. And then you have a percentage of chance to use it upon getting a lock. And it restores 20% of your run energy. Pretty cool I can get this. Making a little bit of a uh, forestry collection in the bank. As level 65 fletching, I can now make you short bows and diamond bolts. Five more fletching levels at Willows, and I can start using the banked U locks for U long bows. Hey, what are you doing in this place? This is your box you ordered last week from Factor. Factor is a convenient meal delivery service that delivers delicious ready made meals directly to your door. Factor meals not only come pre-prepared and ready to eat in 2 minutes or less, but they also come with a list of ingredients and nutrition facts so you know exactly what you are eating. That's what I like so much about Factor, it's a great way to eat healthy and prevent ordering fast food, and it can help you with your fitness goals. Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through purposeful eating and healthy ingredients. Factor has a bunch of different preference options, with options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and vegetarian, and more than 27 meal options each week, there's something for everyone. Meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week, and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. You can easily modify food preferences and skip a week if needed. If you want to try it out, use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POCVERVARC50 for 50% off your first box. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring this extreme one chunk episode. Nice little level there, 85 wood cutting. Levels are getting up there. Level 81 magic, six more to go for Onyx Bold Enchant. 86 fire making. I just got 82 magic and I have done enough wood cutting and fletching for a while. I want to fully commit to magic and I still need 77 crafting as well. So I'm going to work on that the next week and finish on big goals. 83 magic. I've brought all my vent braces with me that I made in the last episode. And I'm going to high alk all of this. And I think I can make like 5 or 6 million GP. So that's a lot. Definitely worth it to use some nature runes for this. As it gets me a crazy amount of magic XP and money. And I'm doing fire wave high alking to maximize the magic XP. Level 84 magic. 88 prayer. I got almost a full prey level from killing red dragons and using the bones on the altar. I freaking love this dungeon man. I have high alked all of my van braces. I have just 5 left in the bank. And I now have a 30 million cash stack in the bank. Awesome. 
I've also liquidated all my other high arcs in the bank for the magic XP. I had a bunch of rune items left over from Seracnus and Scratiso, and I made another 8.5 million GP. And we're almost at 40 million GP now. I am water blasting red dragons. I'm down bad for magic XP. I almost run out of fire runes, which means I won't be able to use fire wave anymore. So yeah, we are water blasting. Going to be a lot slower, but I have a ton of death runes that I'm not using, so... It will get the job done. There's 76 crafting. Beautiful. One more level to go. And we have finished the crafting grind. Just got 86 magic. One more level to go. And there is 87 magic. We can now enchant Onyx Jewelry and Onyx Tipped Crossbow Bolts. That is the magic goal finished in this chunk. I cannot actually complete the task yet because I need to get 73 fletching I believe to make my first Onyx Bolts. And then I can enchant them. But that is the magic finished. Nice, I got 80 thieving for free doing this crafting grind, doing the uh, gem stalls. I need one more crafting level, so all these thieving levels have been pretty free. I wanted to test some willow trees with a group of people because the yew trees gave such a nice boost. But it turns out willows isn't that different with a lot of people because it's already crazy fast with high woodcutting levels. So don't really have to worry about that. And there we go, there's the subscribe button. Please click on it. 77 crafting beautiful there's another goal finished i can now make my own red dragon hide armor and there we go we have made the red dehyde body i already had a red dehyde body from the brutal red dragons but it is a task to craft the highest level gear so that finishes all the crafting grinds in this chunk all right 70 fletching i can now make you longbows Great level because I have a few thousand u logs banked. 89 wood cutting, been AFKing some more uh, u trees while editing. And I'm going to use my u log soon actually. See how many levels I can get. 73 fletching with the u logs, which means I can now make onyx tipped runite bolts. I do have rune bolts and onyx bolt tips in a bank. And there we go, onyx bolts. Enchant some onyx bolts, and that is the task completed. Beautiful level, 90 wood cutting already. I can now chop redwood trees. Awesome level. There's level 2 construction. I am lamping the skill. The first few levels always take forever. So that is a nice first level. And I do need 99 eventually. So might as well start with lamps before we unlock a construction method. Level 75 fletching. I can now make rune arrows. Still using the banked u -locks. Level 91 wood cutting. Nice. Level 80 fletching, I can now make magic short bows. 82 fletching, I can now make amethyst arrows. I actually got a lot of levels from uh, these AFK U locks. Really nice. 92 wood cutting, halfway to 99. Let's get 99. Oh, there it is, the first spirit seed. I've banked a ton of nests from doing willows, and I am going to open it, and uh, yeah. There is a spirit tree patch right here. Pretty scary. Alright, I opened over 100 nests and I got 4 spirit seeds. I got dragon fruit seeds and another magic seed. I pretty much got every seed uh, I can get now. So every farming requirement is unlocked if I get the patches. There we go, 84 fletching and 1250 total level on the Extreme 1 Junk account, which means I can use total level worlds. We're making big moves on this account. Another big woodcutting level, level 93. There we go, 85 fletching. I can now make magic longbows. And we need two more levels for the magic shield best in slot. There's 94 woodcutting, slowly getting there. I just realized I've made 20,000 unstring U longbows. That is a lot of AFKing. Unfortunately, I cannot string off them because that would be such great XP, but I cannot make bowstrings yet, so gonna have to keep that for a later stage. There's 86 fletching, one level to go for the next best in slot. Level 3 construction, nice. The early levels always take forever, so once we are like 4 or 5, levels should be rolling in. There's 95 wood cutting, 4 levels to go. Alright, 87 fletching. I can now fletch magic shields. Let's quickly make one. And that is the last best in slot task completed in this chunk. We just have to make the dragon darts now. Let's go to the chunk picker. And there we go, magic shield, best in slot completed. Just need the 95 fletching now. 
And then we can roll a new chunk. There we go, another construction level. Level 4 construction, beautiful. Just got another fletching level, 88. Been spending a lot of time at uh, Willows lately. Also, shout out to the clan. There's 96 wood cutting. Three levels to go. Level 89 fletching. Six to go for the dragon dart. These levels are starting to take uh, quite a bit. I'm averaging like 20k per hour, I would say. If I'm like AFKing. Hill Giants was a rough grind, but this is actually quite a grind too. Alright, there's 97 wood cutting. Very nice level. There it is, 5 construction. Levels are going to be a lot faster now. I'm getting a level every 2 lamps currently. There's level 90 fletching on the chunk account. Beautiful level. 5 levels to go, man. Ooh, we are getting there. Uh, you can now make dragon arrows and amethyst darts. Actually, I have some supplies for that. So let me actually make some dragon arrows for fun. Uh, let's see. Dragon... Arrow tips, feather, and I guess I need headless arrows though. Hold up, let's see. Do I have arrow shafts? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's make let's make ten dragon arrows for fun. There we go for my future twisted bow. Nice. Missed the level, but we got ninety eight wood cutting. One level to go for ninety nine wood cutting, and as you can see, I'm still ninety fletching. So we are actually going. Way past 99 wood cutting to get this 95 fletching goal. Here we go. No way. 99 wood cutting. Yes. Congratulations, you are master of wood cutting. Why not visit Wilfred near Lumbridge? Um, yeah, let's not do that. Let's not go there. <laughs> 